Managing risk is one of the most important things you have to do as an investor or trader. In the next three minutes, we'll show you how stop on quote orders can be used to protect gains and limit losses when the markets begin to move against you. To get started, let's do a quick review of the three basic order types. A market order is simply an order to buy or sell at the best available price. It's normally executed immediately at a price that could be either higher or lower than you expect, especially in a fast moving market. A limit on quote order is an order to buy or sell at a specific price or better. A limit on quote order to buy can only be executed at the limit quote price or lower, while a limit on quote order to sell can only be executed at the limit quote price or higher. With a limit on quote order, there is no guarantee that your trade will be executed. A stop on quote order is an order to buy or sell a stock once the price reaches a specific quote. Once the stop quote price is met, the order turns into a market order and is immediately executed at the prevailing market price. Now that you know the basic order types, let's take a closer look at stop on quote orders and see how they can be used to protect your gains in a declining market. Say for example you buy a stock for $20 and it runs up to $30. You want to participate in any future price appreciation, but don't want to risk losing the unrealized gains you've built up. So what do you do? Rather than watching the market five days a week to make sure you catch any price drop, you could simply enter a stop on quote order at $25. If the stock declines and your stop quote price is reached, your shares will be automatically sold at the current market price, locking in a large portion of your gains. As you've just seen, stop on quote orders can be very useful. But what if you want precise control over the price at which your order is executed? You could simply enter a combination stop limit on quote order. Let's look at another example. Say you purchase a stock for $40 and decide that you'd like to cut your losses if the price drops to $35. You could enter a stop limit on quote order with the stop price set at $35 and the limit price set at $34. As long as the stock is trading above $35, nothing happens. However, if your stock drops and is quoted at $35 or lower, the stop on quote order immediately converts into a limit on quote order to sell your shares. In this case, your stock would only sell at $34 or higher. Because they're automated, stop on quote orders are an easy and effective way to stick to a disciplined trading or investing plan. You don't need to be watching the market or even have your computer on. The stop on quote order will execute automatically whenever the parameters you specify are met. Protecting yourself with stops is just the beginning. To learn about more order types, visit our education center and watch our conditional order tutorial on eTrade.com or call 1-800-ETRADE-1 to speak with an experienced trading specialist.